So it finishes then at Real Madrid at five, Alaves nil, four against Granada at the weekend. Just keeping that momentum going ahead of that Champions League final against the Borussia Dortmund on June the 1st, where of course Real Madrid go into that tie as a favourite. So Jürgen is still with Jürgen. Obviously, the big question for Carlo Ancelotti now. You've got Thibaut Courtois, who's been out with a knee injury for pretty much the whole season. Coming back now, obviously, for the right time for him. Lunin has been very good in the Champions League. He's carried them along to the final. What do you do if you're Carlo Ancelotti? Who do you choose? Well, I'm happy not to be Carlo Ancelotti in this, in this situation <laughs> because this is a, a really difficult one. But I think he gave us the answer already. I think, you know, by putting Courtois in there now, so kind of close to the Champions League final. Oh, definitely. And he will get that appreciation by, obviously, by his coach, by Carlo Ancelotti, by his club, by his teammates, by his fans. They all are appreciative of what he's done throughout the entire season. Uh, but Courtois is Courtois. And uh, there is... Uh, an hierarchy in place and uh, probably it will get confirmed by Carlo Ancelotti but he will get a lot a lot of uh, um, compliments throughout that season and if they win the Champions League then he's a big part of it. No, I don't want compliments, I want to play the final. Who? Lunin. You know how I've always said that Ancelotti's got this oh, wow. great ability to just man-manage situations and put an arm around players, he's going to have to put that big arm around yes. Andre Lunin, maybe even give him a cigar and a glass of red wine and say Thanks very much. But the big man's fit again. He's, he's arguably when fit the best keeper on the planet. Uh, this is the biggest game uh, in European club football. He's fit again. He looks sharp. Yeah. He's looked sharp in training. He's proven it uh, in a couple of games. And he'll get some more game time before the final. It's not, it's not even going to be a decision. You play your best team. And, and, that, and unfortunately, for he's got to be sick. Sick to, in his stomach, the goalkeeper. But it is what it is. And... You know, he's fit again, uh, Courtois, Stevie, and he's going to play. No? Listen, Lunan will know. Right. Lunan, if you were to call Lunan up, go and give Lunan a call right now and ask him, and he'll tell you <laughs> that he knows Courtois is going to start this game. Right. Because we all understand. We all, we all, whether we're coming through or whether we're finishing, when, when the guy who's pushing for your spot is ahead of you, we all know. And as much as we don't like it, we know it and we get it and we understand it. And there's no question, between now and the final, Angelotti will be slapping Lunan on the back, doing everything, <laughs> saying all kinds of nice things Aww. about him. But at the end of the day, yeah. it's an easy decision. It will be Courtois. Courtois has shown today, particularly with that save, down to his left, that he's back, he's, he plays. No question.